Hello, I'm Roy Ramos, an instructor at Health One EMS. I'm here to demonstrate cardiac arrest management using an automated external defibrillator or the AED. Before I perform any skills, I will make sure I take the appropriate BSI or body substance isolations precaution. In this case, I'll be using gloves and goggles. As I approach the scene, I'm assessing for any danger, ensuring my crew and I are safe. If bystanders are present, I will start gathering information. After I have determined that the patient is unresponsive, I will perform a scan looking for signs of respiratory effort. I'll check for the presence of a carotid pulse. This should take no less than five seconds and no longer than 10 seconds. My primary assessment reveals a pulseless apneic patient who has had CPR performed. I expose my patient's chest and locate the correct hand position and start quality chest compressions. While I am doing compressions, I want to get some additional EMS help. I or my partner will call for help. I will perform two minutes of quality CPR with adequate depth and rate. I will make sure I perform CPR with the proper compression to ventilation ratio and allow for chest to recoil completely. When I ventilate, I provide adequate volume for each breath looking for chest rise. When I stop to provide ventilations, I do so with minimal interruptions of 10 seconds or less. When the additional resources arrive with an AED, I instruct the second rescuer to take over compressions while I'll set the AED up. I turn the AED on. While I am prepping the patient's chest, I listen to the prompts from the AED. I connect the electrodes to the AED and ensure nobody is touching the patient while the AED is analyzing. If a shock is advised, I will ensure that all personnel are clear of the patient and deliver a shock from the AED. Once the shock is delivered, I immediately direct my partner to resume CPR. My team and I will continue to perform CPR and provide AED shocks until directed to stop, either by medical control or the receiving hospital. Check your local protocols and policies on when it is appropriate to stop CPR. By demonstrating how to provide quality CPR and manage a patient in cardiac arrest, you give your patients the best possible chance for survival. Thank you for watching, good luck, and stay safe.